This is a big moment for Litecoin. With Litecoin's Mimblewimble upgrade, major exchanges could be delisting Litecoin because Litecoin's transactions will be confidential and untraceable. One exchange has already delisted it and like I've said, this could be a huge moment for Litecoin's future. In this video guys, I'll talk about this news in a lot more detail. I'll share with you what that news means for the price action for Litecoin and future price for Litecoin. Coin. And then guys at the end of the video I'll share with you my technical analysis and more importantly share with you exactly how we're trading Litecoin. Before I get started into the video, if you do enjoy this type of content, do hit the like button. I create daily content about Litecoin and other coins, trading strategies and every Sunday I do a live stream where I share with you live trades. Last Sunday I shared with you a couple of trades. If you guys remember the HNT trade, HNT I posted the exact signals when I was getting in at my targets you can see on the chart. HNT has hit targets so you can look to take some profit. Gala hasn't moved much, it's still going sideways. So Gala will have to review. If you want these daily updates, you know, when I'm getting in, when I'm getting out, I'll leave the links below for you to check out. Uh, you can join the Rockstar Trading Group for less than 30 bucks. Now guys, let's get into the video. So Litecoin dumped with all the whole cryptocurrency markets. And as you guys know, Litecoin, if you've been following our channel, whenever Litecoin comes to $100, I've shared with you lots of trade signals. You know, we bought a couple of Litecoins, you know, we bought it here. We tried buying it here as well. I got stopped out on this trade, but we've got some really nice trade. This was a beautiful trade where, you know, Litecoin pumped about 10%. So we had lots of nice trades when Litecoin was above $100. The reasoning behind it, again, I recommend you go watch my previous video. I talked about the importance of the $100 level, you know, Litecoin key zone, and then we had some nice bounces from it. Once we get below like $100, lots of traders or investors don't want to be hodling Litecoin. And that's when, you know, I shared that dump, uh, the dump signal for Litecoin. This is, you know, the, a short trade setup. I personally did not take the Litecoin short. Wish I did. I was short AVAX and NIA. And in the Rockstar Trading Group, guys, we shorted these coins because in these dumps, if you're short hedge, if you're already, you know, buying Bitcoin or you're hodling Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, if you're shorting coins you can make money whilst it's going down and more more importantly protect your wealth so that was the litecoin short trade setup and it came into our zone and we've had some bounces i was hoping for a bigger bounce unfortunately we haven't bounced as much as i would have liked it's still holding the support level which is great and i'll share with you the key level i'm looking at to, to potentially buy more litecoin but for now the key zone this gray zone that i've got drawn is around 60 dollars if litecoin starts breaking below here i've set an alert as you can see if it's as breaking below here i'll be concerned about litecoin like this uh in the previous last time we broke hundred dollars if we break below you can look to potentially short it i'll update you guys in the group and we really don't want litecoin breaking below here and for the bulls what we would like to see is litecoin holding above this uh, zone so the the key line i've got at 66 you can look to trade litecoin with stop below same plan as last time you know you can see the x's when we buy here with stop loss below you know lots of people can make predictions of you know coins going to the moon um you know every day they talk about you know xrp going to ten dollars or dogecoin to ten dollars something crazy but they don't show exactly entries and exits and that's the most important thing you know prediction anyone can make prediction but using the news like this type of news and trading it is going to be the most important thing for for you to potentially make money in cryptocurrency and you know make life-changing money achieve your cryptocurrency goals so that's the technical analysis for litecoin the key zones to note about is $60 and if we start trend changing we can look for a trade targeting $80 and $100. If we break below it I don't want to talk about you know how low it can go but we could come into this zone again this would be a level whether you like Litecoin or not uh, this is a level you need to buy and I believe you know long term Litecoin I'll touch on this news because this news could have an impact on Litecoin long term but you know I believe like with Litecoin halving Litecoin will get a pump going forward so if it does come into here I'm definitely going to look to accumulate here look to play the Litecoin halving pump if you guys have been subscribed to my channel we played that litecoin halving long really well and I'll, I'll update you guys again when i get into litecoin and hopefully play play the next litecoin halving which is next year we play that very well that should play out start playing out in my opinion whether it pumps from here or it comes back down to here it should start playing out you know by end of this year so that's the technical analysis uh, for litecoin let's talk about the news and I'll, I'll talk about the impact of it on the price i do like uh, how they've explained it here so 
Um, the, the Litecoin big news is Korean exchanges are delisting Litecoin. So Korea has a, not just Korea, Korea is one of the uh, cr countries where cryptocurrency is huge. And if Korea is delisting Litecoin with, uh, with the previously upgrades involving the Mimble, Mimble Wimble protocol, that is not very good guys. And, and the, the news, the, 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 the reason they gave is reporting the use of specific financial transaction information as the reason that they need to delist tokens but this is in korea specific thing korea's laws was designed to align with financial action task force travel rule and this is not just korea this could have implications like i said for other exchanges and we've seen what happens when coins get delisted they just lose interest you know i, I love like litecoin and i've got a love and hate relationship about litecoin you know I've, i worked with the project i talked about when i stopped being a litecoin fan fundamentally you know with the charlie lee drama with the light pay drama and I'm not, you know, hodling Litecoin as, as much as I used to, you know, I'll look to buy again and hodl some here. Um, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But fundamentally, guys, this is this could be bad for Litecoin because if, if Litecoin gets delisted from exchanges, Litecoin won't have the exposure as some of the other coins. You know, you go into Binance and I'm not saying Binance and Coinbase will be delisting it. This could mean that they do and I'll be following the news and I'll let you guys know. But if other exchanges uh, says the same thing and delist Litecoin, because of this previous rumors that could be quite bad for Litecoin in my opinion I don't think they will and again I've talked to some people that are a lot bigger on Litecoin they seem to say Litecoin uh, being a privacy coin could be good and I'll touch on that but at the moment where the where we are and, and in terms of short time short time frame price action this isn't great because if exchanges are delisting it people would want to sell their Litecoin before the delist and they don't want to hold it and that could bring uh, sale pressure to Litecoin and that could push the price of Litecoin even lower so rules like this are the only reasons institutions can even think about adopting crypto for institution compliance is key and they need to say more miles away from anything that even smells like money laundering so one of the positive news for litecoin recently has been you know paypal you could transfer litecoin a uh, bitcoin ethereum and bitcoin cash uh, if this regulations come in and people get scared that might mean litecoin adoption that it has already seen might you know take a step or two back so that's not going to be great crypto future is an institutional uh, institutional adoption and there are certain things that just won't work while financial privacy is important and it exists in crypto via difficulty in identifying owners being blockchain wallets financial anonymity is where the line is drawn making it impossible to track transactions that institution must separate themselves from the project and play no part in it so you know like i said th this is the negative i will touch on a potential positive news but this is the negative uh, uh, part of this news certainly there are protocols uh, that are out there that are designed to obfus obfuscate transactions tornado cash comes to mind and is often in the set used in the same set sentence as stolen funds but even tornado cash doesn't uh, com completely mix anonymity with freedom to transact wallets sanctioned by ofac are blocked experts who have previously spoken to coindesk has said without this happening ofac would be actively targeting the protocol litecoin mixing so one of the things to uh, specify here is litecoin is just not becoming a privacy coin it has the option with the mimbo wimble upgrade to have a privacy feature so that is a really key thing to uh, uh very key thing that i want to make sure people understand because i don't want you to watch this video and say litecoin is a privacy coin i don't want to touch it it, it just has a, a, a an a, an option to do that with the mimble wimble upgrade litecoin mixing anonymity with an abs absence of such controls is going to be a headache for exchanges that list the ltc token korean exchanges are said to be particularly sensitive to regulatory affairs so it's natural that they would delist it first but others are sure to follow perhaps binance battling a reputational challenge as haven for cyber crooks will be next and again there's some tweets from charlie lee uh, team if people that are close to charlie lee saying binance is not going to do that but if binance or coinbase makes this move then i would definitely not look to hold litecoin the positive side of it is that you know we want like uh, we want cryptocurrency to be completely decentralized private um so litecoin is going towards that way but the other side of it is if we don't have any institutional adoption then 
you know, that's not really ha- going to help you grow. That's the question of previously coins. I think if everything is banned, then maybe, yes, Monero will be used a lot more, which I think is the best privacy coin, in my opinion. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, from my studies, Monero seems to be my favorite one. Zcash is good as well. But, you know, Litecoin may have a part to play in it then. But without the institutional support, how is Litecoin going to get more adoption? You know, you know, we talked about like pay, like uh, using Litecoin for payments. How is that going to happen if people are concerned about this privacy feature? So it uh, and that is a small positive, but if you want to think about it, you know, if all cryptocurrencies get banned, privacy coins can be popular. But at the moment, uh, with this news, in my opinion, this is negative news in the short term. One thing to say is the Litecoin team could use this information, see how the regula- regulations and regulatory features affect Litecoin and they could go back on it or make some changes to make it more open. I'm not sure what they'll do. I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll follow the team and I'll let you guys know when I see updates come through. Um, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll try to make another Litecoin update. Let me know in the comment section below as well if if Litecoin is a popular coin and you know, on my channel anyway, I'll keep making Litecoin videos from time to time. Uh, if lots of news come and you guys want me to update you more, I'll make maybe a once a week video. But Litecoin is a coin that I usually make a video every other month. So that is the news guys it really depends on what what's going to happen for me from trading point of view with this negative news and if the price starts breaking below 60 i would look to short litecoin or if you're hodling a lot of litecoin look to sell half and look to buy litecoin above there so maybe you're selling slightly below but you're protected if there's a downside and you could look to accumulate more if bitcoin does break below 28 can i recommend you go watch my previous live stream i shared a live bitcoin trade as well I talked about this as well that a trader shared in that video bought meme trading strategy that has worked really well as well but again if if bitcoin does break down below uh, i would look to accumulate litecoin around 20 to 30 dollars and i expect litecoin to have another at least you know 100 two three four hundred percent pump leading up to the litecoin halving as long as the news isn't too bad and you know litecoin uh, becomes you know delisted from a lot of the bigger biggest exchanges then i would be concerned but if not i still think litecoin has a future to play and i I, I do think Litecoin will get a pump leading towards the Litecoin halving. I want to finish off with talking about Litecoin BTC. I want to see Litecoin BTC trend change as well. You guys know I was really bullish on Litecoin when we were you know, having these bounces and I shared all those trades. But once we broke $100 and we broke below here, that's when I got concerned. And I would like Litecoin BTC to start trend changing above 3000 as well. And that's when I'd, I think you'll get the best trades in Litecoin. And with Litecoin halving news and potentially uh, more adoption news, we hopefully will see another pump in Litecoin. So that's the video guys let me know in the comment section below are you bullish on litecoin what do you think about this news do you think it's a bearish news comment below also guys if there's any coins you want me to review comment in in this uh, post i, I did a post uh, yesterday asking you which coin you want me to cover looks like cardano is the most popular one so i'll make a cardano video uh, tomorrow if there's any other coins you can comment below and let me know which coin you want me to review or you can go here pick one of these and again this is your channel i want you to help you guys if there's any coins that you're hodling you you think shall i keep hodling or if there's a coin that you like you wanting to buy let me know in the comment section below or join me sunday every sunday evening i'll be doing a live stream where i share with you exactly how we're trading in the rockstar trading group take coin requests share live trades so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button like i've said before if you do enjoy this content and want to more people to see this content do hit the like button and a Litecoin, like I said, I've got a love-hate relationship about it. I still want Litecoin to do well. So hit that like button, share this video with more Litecoin fans. And guys, I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.